Thanks for joining us for ABC4 News at 4. I'm Emily Clark. And I'm Rick Aaron. Well, leading off our top four stories at 4 o'clock, it may be time to get your mask back out and even back on your face, even if you've been vaccinated. This afternoon, the CDC recommended wearing masks indoors in places like Utah, where the Delta variant is widely circulating. Two months ago, the CDC said vaccinated individuals do not need to wear masks indoors, but that was before the rise of the Delta variant of COVID-19. Now they have reversed their course. The Delta variant is showing every day its willingness to outsmart us and to be an opportunist in areas where we have not shown a fortified response against it. Some vaccinated people infected with the Delta variant after vaccination may be contagious and spread the virus to others. This new science is worrisome and unfortunately warrants an update to our recommendations. A current map shows that seven of Utah's 29 counties are in the high transmission category, meaning more than 10 percent of tests came back positive over the past seven days. 18 counties, including Salt Lake, Utah, Davis, and Weber, are currently in the high rate of incidence with more than 100 cases in two weeks. Only 46 percent of Utah's 3.2 million residents are fully vaccinated against the virus. Today, the CDC also recommended masks for all students, teachers, and staff in K-12 through schools. The vaccine is not currently available for kids 11 and under. Once all school-age kids have access to the vaccine, we won't need to recommend universal masking for unvaccinated individuals. But right now, it is our collective responsibility to protect those who don't even have the option of getting vaccinated. I am worried about the kids going back to school with the vaccine not being available to them because they're not great at hand hygiene. They like to share things, including germs. Um, I think uh, it's a good idea to to have kids masked. Coming up at 4.30, ABC 4's Jordan Burroughs talks to Utah lawmakers about how these new guidelines will affect Utahns.